welcome back to my channel so this week's technique is a bit more partial knitting now the idea of this swatch is just to teach you variation to the technique now it's not fancy certainly not um, but it can be really really effective in the way you use it so I personally love the way the sections turned out here with the elastic yarn but I have tried to use a few different ones just to show you the outcome and just a few variations really. Now the way we do this technique is different to the way we've done partial knitting in the past demonstrations but it is actually really really simple and it can be incredibly effective once you try to experiment with it so definitely do not give up with this technique try and experiment and just play around plenty to see what you can come up with okay so for this swatch i have used mercerized cotton as a base um viscose blend in here which is the one that shrinks when you press it so it's quite nice actually when you use it on a standard gauge this is just elastic which you can get from any shop really i think and that's just sewing thread which i don't particularly like but i just wanted to test it out and just kind of show it to you but again depending on the layout that you use and the number of rows that you knit you can get different shapes and obviously they can be bigger or smaller and this is actually quite similar to what we've done here but it looks in absolutely different because of the choice of yarn so again do experiment and let me know how you get on do remember to tag me in your swatches on Instagram because I love to share your work with everyone and it's actually nice to see how you get on with all the demonstra demonstrations. So definitely um, send them, to, send your swatches over to me, um, I mean photos of, of course, <laughs> on Instagram or just tag me and we can all sort of have a look at what everyone's been up to with the techniques and get some more inspiration all right then let's get started okay so i've gone ahead and casted on 40 needles and knitted a few rows now the number of needles is not um, important so you can cast on how many ever you'd like to use and now i'm going to swap my yarn over to viscose blend in that peach color so this yarn um shrinks when you steam it which is quite nice because the yarn is quite fine and you can actually use it on your standard gauge machine okay so um i'm using a brother knit machine so um you do need to locate your um holding cams or holding levers now on my brother machine there's one on the left hand side of the carriage which goes from n to h so from normal to hold position if you're using silver reed there'll be two cams one on the left and one on the right which go from two to one if you are if you if you are using any other machines or any other makes do just have a quick look on um, the internet to see where your holding levers are okay it's not hard to find okay so i've swapped my yarn and i've pushed my cams onto hold position my attention for this yarn is on five and I'm using two ends of this yarn, okay? So um, we'll start off easy. So my pattern is going to be starting right from the center, okay? So my center is this. So my center is zero. So everything, so I'm going to be using, sorry, I'm going to be using four needles in the center, okay? So these four needles. And everything on the left hand side of those four needles is going to get pushed forward. Now we are doing partial knitting. So if you remember from my other videos, the rule for partial knitting is opposites. Okay. Now the reason we've pushed everything on the left hand side forward is because my carriage is on the right hand side of the machine. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do one row. Now we've not, obviously it's not knitted on these uh, needles. Now everything on the right hand side of the pattern, so remember my pattern is the center four needles. So everything on the right hand side of that, those four needles is going to get pushed forward into hold position. Now the reason it's on the right hand side is because my carriage is on the left hand side. Now I'm going to uh, grab additional weights and my weights, my favorite ones are always these river weights, but you can of course use claw weights. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do one, two and three rows, okay? 
and now my carrot's on the right hand side so I'm going to push the nearest two needle to my center four which is the pattern slightly over to the back so when I knit across it will pick those two needles now if you find this slightly risky or if you find that the machine drops your stitches the other way to get around this is to simply grab a transfer tool and to pick those stitches and place them back on the needle and push them into working position okay now knit across once and then we push the two needles on the right hand side nearest to the center four which is the pattern slightly over to the back so it picks it up and then we're going to knit two additional rows within those sets and my pattern is starting to form here so now i'm going to push the next two near to the pattern to um slightly over to the back knit across once and then the next two on the right hand side and knit one okay we're going to knit two rows within those needles and continue to do so for as many needles as you like. Okay, so I am actually going to leave it to these many needles, okay? Now, what we want to do is bring it back in, okay? Again, the same rules apply. Carriage is on the right-hand side, so on my left-hand side of the pattern, I'm going to push the same two needles forward knit one and push the next two from the right hand side forward knit two and then we're going to knit two additional rows as we did before now what you can do i'm so sorry about the noise of my chair it is incredibly creaky <laughs> okay so what we're going to do i'm um, sorry i've lost my train of thought okay so what i do recommend is that you can follow it as per what i'm doing or you can actually go ahead and change your needle layout. Um, so we've been doing two, uh, working in sets of twos, but you can actually work in any of the set you like, okay? And you can also knit as many rows as you want. So pushing the next two on the left-hand side forward, knit one and push two on the right-hand side. And the next two, remember to keep moving your weights up because the stitches will drop. And uh, the next two. Okay, so now I've come back to my centre four working needles. And now at this point, I actually want to just be knitting on all needles. Now if, um, now if you do want to continue in the same yarn, all you've got to do is push the opposite side of the carriage, okay, slightly over to the back, knit one, and then push the remainder back and then knit across. But in this instance, um, I am actually wanting to change my colour or change my yarn. So I'm simply going to take this yarn out of my carriage and swap over to my Mercerized cotton. And all I'm going to do is, it's actually slightly easier, is simply to push my cam back to normal knit position. And I'm just going to knit across. So over, pick all of my needles back in and that's the pattern in the center okay and now what I'd like to do is move just sort of do like a really random pattern so I want it on this side now so just locate your center pattern needles so I'm going to maybe work with center two this time okay just these two needles so everything on the left hand side of that those two needles gets pushed forward into working sorry into hold position and i'm going to go ahead and change my yarn back to that peach and push my cam onto hold position and knit across one and now push everything on the right hand side of those two needles all the way forward into hold and continue to knit on those two needles. So I'm only doing about two rows and then push the next two slightly over to the back, knit one and then push the next two on the right hand side, knit one. So just do so as far as you want to go with it. Now that's where I'd like to stop with this. I'm going to start pushing the needles back out, okay? So two at a time, knit one and then two opposite side of the carriage, 
knit one and then continue until you get to the center. Okay, so I am happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and swap my yarn back to the mercerized and push my cam back to normal position and knit. And now my pattern has formed there, okay? So I now want to do a random one around here. So what I'm going to do is push everything on the left-hand side of that pattern back into hold position, move my cams back to H and change my yarn. So this time I'm going to use a black elastic, okay? So this will obviously give you um, a different effect to that peach yarn that we've been using. And my intention, I am going to bring it all the way down to two. And I'm going to knit one and then push everything on the right hand side of those two needles onto hold. Knit one and then continue to do what we've done before. Again, do remember you can you can actually change the counts to your requirement, okay? I'm just going to do a very random set of here. Okay, so I am now happy with that and I'm going to go ahead and change my yarn back to the mercerized cotton. Move my hands back to normal knit position. Remember to change my tension to five. And knit. So you can see my random pattern starting to form around here. Now, once I've pressed it, it will sort of shrink a little bit, okay? And the elastic will give a really nice um, outcome. Okay, so I'm going to do more of the elastic. And again, just being really random with my setup and counts now. Back onto hold and then my tension back down. And I'm going to go back to leaving four needles. I'll start doing a setup of four again. the needles out right okay so I know that we've been sort of doing a whole shape but you don't actually have to do that you can leave it as half a shape so I am actually going to do that with this one okay so I'm going to leave it right there and all I'm going to do is swap over back to my moisturized cotton yarn and knit. Okay, so I want to do a bit more of the elastic. <laughs> so I'm going to, again, do it randomly. And doing four needles. to leave it at that again and change back to most of cotton and knit. So it is actually a really really simple technique if you do understand how partial knitting works. Um, simple rule is just opposites with this technique so I would definitely recommend that you experiment with um, it being quite simple and then start to do something a bit more complicated. Um, so with this, you can actually form like sweet little like shapes and patterns and also experimenting with yarns will give you a completely different outcome. So I am going to finish this off with um, doing another pattern with some sewing thread, okay? Again, just sticking around with what we've been doing. And I'm just 
going to add additional weights. And now I'm just going to finish it off with Nurse's cotton. Right, so that is basically all of it. So I do hope you enjoy and experiment with this technique. Now, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And do follow me on Instagram as well, because I do tend to post quite a few um, videos up there. And have a look at my website for some knit patterns and subscribe to my channel. Well, I hope you get on okay with knitting and uh, well, I hope you've learned quite a lot from my demonstrations and if you do have any recommendations or anything you'd like to learn in particular, let me know in the comments. All right then, happy knitting. Bye.